The 911 Games Workout 3 is a chipper ladder of deadlifts, cleans and snatches, and pull-ups, chest-to-bar pull-ups, and bar muscle-ups. The men's bar weight on this workout is 135 pounds. The women's bar weight on this workout is 95 pounds. The time cap for this workout is 10 minutes. At the start command, athletes will perform eight deadlifts, seven cleans, and six snatches, followed by eight pull-ups, seven chest-to-bar pull-ups, and six bar muscle-ups. That series will continue for a round of six, five, four, and four, three, two repetitions of each triplet. The athlete's time will be their score for this event. On the deadlift, the bar starts on the ground and the athlete will stand up with the bar. At the completion of each repetition, the legs and hips should be fully extended with the shoulders behind the barbell when the athlete is viewed in profile. The athlete may use any grip on the bar they choose, but the feet must be between the hands. Sumo deadlifts will not be permitted. Once you have reached full extension, you may drop the barbell from the top. If the athlete does not fully lock out the bar at the top, that is a no rep. If the bar does not touch the floor between each rep, those reps will not count. If the athlete bounces the bar off the floor, that rep will not count. On every rep of the clean, the bar will start on the floor and finish on the athlete's shoulders at full extension. At the completion of each rep, the athlete's hips and knees must be fully extended with the barbell resting on the shoulders with the elbows clearly in front of the bar when viewed from profile. If the athlete fails to fully extend the legs or hips before lowering the bar, that rep will not count. If the elbows do not pass in front of the bar at the top, that is a no rep. On the snatch, the athlete will bring the bar from the ground to the overhead position in one movement. At the finish of each repetition, the bar should be directly over the athlete when viewed from profile, with the arms, hips, and legs fully extended and the feet parallel under the athlete's body. If the athlete does not fully extend the arms, hips, or legs before finishing a repetition, it will not count. If the bar does not move from the floor to overhead in one motion, that rep will not count. During the pull-ups, any style of strict or kipping pull-up is permitted as long as the athlete starts hanging with the arms fully extended and the chin clearly finishes above the bar. Any repetition that begins with the arms not fully extended will not count. Any repetition where the chin does not clearly rise above the pull-up bar is a no rep. During chest-to-bar pull-ups, the standards for pull-ups apply. The finished position for each rep must see the athlete's body make contact with the pull-up bar below the collarbone. Any repetition of chest-to-bar pull-ups that the athlete does not clearly make contact with the bar below the collarbone will not count. During the bar muscle-ups, the athlete begins hanging at full extension and finishes when they extend the elbows above the bar. Any muscle-up attempt where the athlete does not begin hanging at full extension is a no rep. If the athlete does not fully extend the elbows above the pull-up bar before descending, that rep will not count. The athlete must perform a muscle-up during this workout. Any other movements will not count. The athlete's time will be their score for this event. In the case of a DNF, every remaining rep will add one second to the athlete's time. For more details concerning scaled and team options, please visit facebook.com slash the 911 games.